हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर फिट एंड फाइन एंड कीपिंग वेल सो दे स्टूडेंट्स एज यू ऑल नो दैट इट्स वेरी टफ टाइम फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस we need to take all precautionary measures against covid-19 so hoping that you must be taking all the precautionary measures against covid-19 and also hoping that everyone uh, is fit and fine in your family members so the students stay home stay healthy stay safe whenever you need to when it is uh, when it is very important very you know compulsory then go out while going out uh, please maintain the social distancing wear mask use sanitizer keep washing your hands at home so uh, we can do whatever in our hands let's uh, play it, uh, let's pray to god that uh, he would uh, bring us out from this pandemic as early as possible so this is what we can do this is in our hands we can pray to god and uh, stay positive uh, do something creative uh, keep watching the videos keep completing your work keep yourself busy in something uh, you know valuable to keep learning be creative okay so with this let us uh, begin today's video today we are going to read chapter 4 in flamingo that is the rat trap written by selma legelof so i hope everyone is ready with your book you must have taken out your book so now everyone open your book at page number 32 page number 32 so before moving ahead let us go through a short introduction uh before short introduction let us go through about the author then we'll go through a short introduction of this lesson then i will read out the lesson line by line and explain so uh, with the help of a ppt first of all uh, let us go through about the author and uh, her works her achievements and then we will discuss about the lesson then line by line explanation will be done so let me show you a ppt on your screen the rat trap by selma legelof as you can see the picture of rat trap on your screen and this story you know moves around a thought which is based on the rat trap about the author selma legelof was a swedish writer whose stories have been translated into many languages a universal theme runs through all of them a belief that is uh, a belief that the essential goodness in a human being can be awakened through understanding and love she lived between 1858 to 1940 she was born on 20th november 1858 and she was died on 16th march 1940 selma otelia lovisia legelof was also a teacher she published her first novel gosta berling saga at the age of 33 she was the first woman to win the nobel prize in literature which she was awarded in 1909 theme of the lesson the story upholds the belief that the essential goodness of a human being can be 
awakened through love and understanding it brings into focus the idea that the world is a rat trap riches joys shelter and food all are lucrative baits to trap mankind let us understand the title the rat trap is a metaphor to highlight the human predicament just as a rat is fooled by a bait and gets trapped most human beings are likely to fall into the trap of material benefit bait means dear students you know a food uh, which is uh, kept for uh, trapping the rats setting setting of the story so this story is set amidst the mines of sweden rich in iron ore which figure large in the history of that country the story is told somewhat in the manner of a fairy tale characters in the story a peddler with rat traps an old man a crofter master smith in the ramso iron mill in sweden helpers in the mill blacksmiths iron mill owner edla wilmason daughter of the iron mill owner so it's all about the character now i am going to read out the lesson and explain so everyone look at your book open your book at page number 32 let's begin notice these expressions in the text infer their meaning from the context so while reading we will try to find out meanings of these words and phrases which are given here i'll made you right we will keep discussing the uh, meanings of these words and phrases keep body and soul together plots along the road impenetrable prison east his way things have gone downhill hunger gleamed in his eyes and wanted joy needed a hotly consent fallen into a line of thought so let's begin here your lesson begins Once upon a time there was a man who went around selling small red traps of wire so the writer tells us uh, a story of a man who used to sell red traps of wires the author tells us a story about a man who used to sell the red traps made of wires he made them himself at odd moments from the material he got by begging in the stores or at the big farms so he used to make these rat traps himself at odd moments odd moments means a short period of free times odd moments a short period of free time okay so he used to make rat traps in short periods of free times and he got material by begging in the stores or at the big farms so he got material for begging the rat trap either from uh, big uh, farms or 
uh, by begging in the stores but even so the business was not specially profitable but even though his business was not very profitable his business of making the rat traps and selling it was not very profitable so he had to resort to both begging and pity thievery to keep body and soul together so to keep body and soul together means for his survival so that is why their students apart from this business apart from this uh, business of making the rat traps and selling it he used to commit thievery he used to perform small thievery to for his survival as uh, making the rat trap and selling it was not a profitable business he could not uh, make it body and uh, make his body and soul together uh, doing so that is why he used to perform small thievery he used to commit small thievery uh, for his survival even so his clothes were in rags even so he uh, was wearing old and uh, uh, tore uh, you know clothes rags his cheeks were sunken sunken means you know lowered his cheeks were lowered and hunger gleamed in his eyes and hunger shone in his, in his eyes so he used to uh, sell rat traps and used to perform small thievery used to uh, commit small thievery even though he could not earn to uh, wear uh, better clothes so in one line we can say that doing so he was unable to uh, make his uh, body and soul together so it was not enough for his survival let me write down meanings of some more word here resort means adopt resort means adopt and sunken sunken means lowered sunken means lowered so you must note down the meaning of these words okay so in the first paragraph we have seen the writer gives us introduction of a man as this story uh, is about a man who used to sell uh, rat traps but selling rat traps uh, was not enough for him that is why he had to commit uh, small thievery but even though he uh, could not uh, make his body and soul together it was not enough for his survival now look at the second paragraph no one can imagine how sad and monotonous life can appear to such a vagabond who plods along the road left to his own meditations so monotonous means we all know boring monotonous means dull and boring and o u s sorry monotonous means dull and boring next word vagabond vagabond means wanderer vega bond means wanderer or tramp plods means walks heavily next word plods means walks heavily 
let me make you write down all the difficult words so from this paragraph then i will explain next word is bait Bait means food placed on a hook. Food placed on a hook to trap rats. To trap a rat. And here it is transferred to a comfortable life here it is referred to a comfortable life okay here it has been used uh, for a comfortable life the next word is cherished let me write here uh, cherished cherished means to love or protect to love or protect cherished and uh, next word is tempted tempted means convinced tempted convinced okay so please uh, note down these uh, difficult words and their meanings uh, from paragraph 2 okay please note them down uh, you had better to write in your book okay now look at the lines so no one can imagine how sad and monotonous life can appear to such a vagabond so further the writer says that no one can imagine how that man how that man's life was boring uh, the life of such vagabond, such wanderer further, the writer says that no one can imagine at how, at what extent the life of such wanderer can be boring. Who plots along the road, who walks heavily along the road, left to his own meditations and uh, remains busy in, in, in his own thoughts okay so left to his own meditation so overall the writer wants to tell us so one cannot imagine how boring how monotonous the life can be of such wanderer such tram such vagabond but one day this man had fallen into own uh, yes but one day this man had fallen into a line of thought which really seemed to him entertaining but one day what happened the man had fallen into his thought which was really seeming to him entertaining which which was entertaining for him so what was the thought he had naturally been thinking of his rat traps when suddenly he was struck by the idea that the whole world about him the whole world with its lands and seas its cities and villages was nothing but a big rat trap so one day one day he uh, which really what happened but one day this man had fallen into a line of thought one day that man fallen into a thought and what was the thought uh, he thought that and the thought was uh, entertaining for him he thought that the whole world including you know 
lands, seas, it, cities and villages, the whole world is like a rat trap. Okay? So, which really seemed to be entertaining, he had naturally been thinking of his rat traps when suddenly he was struck by the idea that the whole world about him, the whole world uh, with its lands and seas, its cities and villages was nothing but a big rat trap. So one day when he was thinking about his own rat trap which he used to made, uh, sorry, which he used to make, he thought that the whole world was like that rat trap which he was making. It had never existed for any other purpose than set baits for people. So further he thought that the whole, the existence of the whole world is only for as baits of the people. As baits we all know food placed on a hook uh, to trap a rat here. Uh, it referred I made you right. yes here it referred to a uh, comfortable life here it is referred to a comfortable life so the whole world is a base the whole world just uh, offers everyone a comfortable life according to him he started thinking over it it offered riches and joys shelter and food heat and clothing exactly as the rat trap offered cheese and pork so he started thinking that the whole world what does it offer the world offer the it offered riches and joys shelter and food heat and clothing exactly as, as the rat trap offered cheese and pork so it is he compares these riches and joys uh, warm and clothing with the a pork with the cheese and pork which is uh, set inside the rat trap in order to trap the rats pork means you know flesh of uh, pig used as a food pork let me write down here pork means flesh of Pig used as you know food. Okay. Okay. I hope you can see it. So you must note it down. Okay. So further, he says that uh, once when he was plodding, when he was walking along the road he thought that the whole world was like rat trap as rat trap offers you know uh, food for a rat and finally rat gets trapped in that rat trap in the same way the whole world is a rat trap which offers riches and joys which offers clothing and warmness and everyone means us people we uh, you know are anxious to get it we are not anxious we are eager to get all these things and thus we uh, uh, get trapped in this world that is like a rat trap according to vagabond according to that tram according to that peddler according to that rat trap seller you can use any term according to that uh, you know wanderer the whole world is like a rat trap as rat trap offers cheese and pork to a rat and that is why the rat gets attracted to it and finally gets trapped in it in the same way the world offers us according to the paddler, the world offers us the joys and riches, the clothing and warmness 
and we are uh, you know tend to uh, uh, you know trap this world which is like a rat trap so as soon as anyone let himself to be tempted touch the bed it closed in on him and then everything came to an end so once we get trapped to this world when uh, uh, we can say when, once we start running after money once we start running after riches once we start running after joys everything comes to an end now look at the third paragraph uh, let me rub these words and their meanings uh, so that i can make you write down more words so please take the screenshot or you may pause the video and write down the meanings of these words i am going to uh, pause the video and rub it okay so these are the words from uh, paragraph third unwanted means unusual dreary means dull snare means a trap okay so these words we will uh, we will come across these words in the next paragraph the world had of course never been very kind to him so it gave him unwanted joy to think ill of it in this way it became a cherished pastime of his during many dreary plodings to think of people he knew who had let themselves be caught in the dangerous snare and of others who were still circling around the bed in the next paragraph what does the paddler says the paddler says the world had of course never been very kind to him so no one liked him the people of the world never been very kind to that vagabond uh, to that wanderer to that tramp to that rat trap seller so all these terms can be used for that person so it gave him unwanted joy to think ill of it in this way so that is why it was very entertaining so it was giving him unwanted joy unusual joy to think ill of it in this way so when he started thinking that the whole world is a rat trap and someone uh, have already uh, many or oh, have whom he knew many have already trapped in that rat trap and someone is trying to uh, be trapped so the this thought was giving him unusual joy as no one would uh, be kind to him it became a cherished pastime of his during many dreary plodings to think of people he knew who had uh, let themselves be caught in the dangerous snare so it had become a you know uh, lovely pastime of his it had become a very protective cherished pastime of his during many dreary plodings when uh, during many dull walkings uh, to think of people he knew who had let themselves be caught in the dangerous snares so he used to think about the people whom you whom he knew have already been caught in this rat trap in this uh, you know dangerous rat trap snare snare means a trap uh, the people whom he knew they have already been caught in this trap and of others who were still circling around the bed and he used to think about others who were circling around the bed so thus dear students uh, as of now in these three paragraphs we have seen that this is very interesting story about a wanderer about a rat trap seller who used to uh, uh, make rat traps out of 
uh, wires uh, which he used to collect from stores and uh, uh, you know by begging from the mills one day when he was uh, walking along the road so he started thinking that the whole world is a rat trap and everyone uh, you know these things like uh, riches and joys and which are you know uh, uh, meant for luxury life which are meant for you know a life full of luxury so these things are like you know bait uh, these things are like cheese and pork which are kept under a uh, you know rat trap in a rat trap in order to trap a rat in the same way and uh, uh, he uh, remembered about some people whom he knew that uh, they have got trapped in this uh, world which is like a rat trap and some of the people he also uh, remembered they were circling around it so one day they would also get they would also get trapped in it so it's all about uh, today's video dear students in my next uh, video i'll explain a few more paragraphs so thank you for watching see you tomorrow